Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, we managed to get one floor lower in the asylum. This may not seem like much, but consider the fact that we started the game locked in a padded cell with just a terry cloth doll in our inventory. Getting out of that and over to here is a huge achievement. We've stumbled into a security room, but fortunately for us, the guard is too focused on watching the monitors to turn around and see if we're actually the newbie or not. If they were more attentive, we'd surely have been locked up again by now, and even worse, Babbitt would likely have been set free. And I don't want to figure out another way to get that person out of the picture. With the guard so distracted, we can probably look at everything in the room quite safely, though it's probably very risky to try and take that key or use the control panel. Is there anything else that we can look at? We can actually interact with the array of monitors. Curious. But let's focus on the most important thing here. This trash can, this treasure trove of objects that will surely be useful in our quest to escape. And I've just realized that I'm saying that about a trash can. But you know what they say, one person's trash may be our treasure. So let's have a look and see what we can rummage for. I'm not rummaging through trash cans. Oh yeah? Since when? Okay, I lied. Sue me. I just wanted to know how it felt to say that. There's a year's supply of soaked paper cups in there. Either those cups are really thin, or that trash can is a lot deeper than it looks. Let's talk to the trash can. Maybe it will tell us if there's something useful in there. It seems unlikely, but stranger things have happened in this game already. What have we got to lose? Apart from the guard thinking that we're crazy. Hello? Anybody home? Whoops! Buzz off! This is my trash can! Did you see that too? I did see that! You're in the wrong trash can! Either that or you're branching out into being a landlord! Can we use this and get different dialogue? I'm not rummaging through trash cans! Oh yeah? Okay, I lo I just wanted to- There's a year's- No, no we can't! So it's time to use everything that we can on the trash can! Perhaps this is like the fireplace where you can put items that you no longer need in there! Harvey surely is not going to be an item that we don't need, though. Why, no! Harvey is still in good shape! Indeed Harvey is! But I imagine we can put a toenail in there. Whoops! Don't even think about it! This is my home, not a dump! Well, okay, it is a dump. But don't you dare get it dirty, bonehead! Did you see that, too? I did see that! I was about to comment that it is indeed a dump as well as his home, but he beat me to it. And we still have the toenail. Can we put the pen in there? It's still in working order. Fair enough. What about the comic book? Never. This is a first issue. Just thought I'd check, and I imagine we can't get rid of the polo mallet. Never! The mallet is my only weapon against injustice. Fair enough. Can we take one of the paper cups? I hope so. There's a lot of them. There's a year's supply of soaked paper cups in there. There's a huge selection. I'll take a particularly soggy specimen. Marvelous! We have a new inventory item! Let us say hello to it! I have a question for you, old filthy water cup. If the horizon is on fire and ash is raining down, Will you still carry me? Don't count on it. If that was a reference, I didn't get it. Let's introduce the water cup to Harvey. Water cup, Harvey. Harvey, water cup. Do you need this paper cup, Harvey? Just face it, no one needs this paper cup. It's hopelessly filthy. We'll see about that, Harvey. I'll find a use for it. Let's see what happens if we put the toenail in there. The filthy cup is a good place to keep it. Marvelous. And we're down one toenail. It's okay, we have an unlimited supply. Somehow. Let's see what happens if we use this with the mallet. Look at that. This mallet safety cap is too small. This mallet safety cap is too small for my mallet. I'm not sure that it's a mallet safety cap, but I commend you for trying to find a use for the cup. 
Can we draw on it? Dot, dot, comma. Oh, no. The cup is ruined. Aw, I was so eager to know how the message turned out. We'll never know. And it's actually gone from my inventory. Well, so long, Paper Cup. Hello, Paper Cup. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. I'm gonna prove you wrong, Edna. We're going to find a use for it. And I'm actually curious if we can just put it back. I'll just put it back as if nothing had happened. We can. But I'm gonna pick it right back up. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. I bet I know what we can use it on. This water dispenser. Ha-ha! I've found a use for it already, Edna. Let's first look and see if there's actually any water in it. Why, it's completely empty. I wonder who could have drunk so much water. You don't say. You do say. And that really puts a dampener on the plan to use that cup. Get it? Water? Dampener? Damp? Never mind. It's pretty plain to see that uh, he's drunk all this water, with a year's supply of used paper cups in there. But can we find out if somebody else has drunk from it? Blub blub. Blub blub. Not really. Can we use it? Hmm, empty. Can we pick it up? It's a bit big, but I'm sure it'll fit. Hmm, empty. No, no we can't. Let's try something futile. Let's see if we can fill the cup up anyway. Hmm, empty. No, no we can't. Harvey, make water appear. Look, Harvey, an empty water dispenser. I wonder who could have drunk so much water. You don't say. Oh, we do say. So much so that we said it twice, and I accidentally clicked down at the bottom of the screen. Let's smash it. Yippee! Let's cause a flood in here. Oh, Harvey, the dispenser is all empty. I never get to have any fun. No, no you don't. But maybe if it gets filled up, we can then have some fun. For now, let's doodle all over it. Marvelous. You are really inattentive. Surely you'd have noticed that we're scribbling all over this. But no, you didn't. And that's to our benefit. Let's read it a comic. In this panel, we see Captain Useless looking for the men's room. Did he find the men's room? We may never know. Have a toenail. Dang it. I won't be able to open it this way. You need a three-way square hollow special key with fitted bits to change this container. Why not just use a special toenail? Or do I have to unlock that later? Right. We finished looking at the water dispenser and concluding that it's completely useless, apart from doodle potential. What about the plant? Obviously, it likes the humidity in here. That's good. Can we confirm this? Oh, Flora, goddess of all sandal-wearing hippies, hear my plea. What is your desire, mortal? I would like to learn something about my roots. Your roots have been badly twisted, but you already possess the truth you seek, Edna. Informative and punny. Doubly awesome. It's just decoration. Can we take the decoration? Bulky and useless. I'll give it a pass if you don't mind. But if it wasn't bulky, you wouldn't give it a pass, right? I mean, you do have a paper cup in your inventory. And speaking of paper cups... I'll just put it there, where it won't bother anyone. Have you got rid of the paper cup? No, nope, no, we still have it. Marvelous. We can use some toenail fertilizer, though. Oh, no, wait, actually, you've put a cup there. I didn't notice that. And yet, we still have it. How paradoxical. Time to use the toenail. There. A little bit of fertilizer. Brilliant. Now we need a new toenail. And we have one. Harvey, what do you think of all our accomplishments here? What do you make of this, Harvey? Mmm, yummy! Veggies for supper. I thought you had strict dietary requirements of pure candy. I always eat whatever will cause the most damage. 
We've heard that before. I hoped that there would be something different. Now, let's smash it. Let's give the plant a good licking. Whoa, wait. You don't know where its leaves have been. Can it be any worse than where we've been keeping the mallet? So we can't smash this. Fair enough. Can we draw on it? Of course we can. It's ours now. In this panel, we see Handy Boy watering the flowers in the basement cave. I think we've heard that one before as well. With all that done, it's time to see what we can do with the TV set. We know that its signal relies on the antenna upstairs, so we're not likely to be able to get anything from it. That doesn't mean we won't try, though. The TV is turned off. Indeed it is. It's not exactly an appealing design. Fair enough. Can we use it? No. Can we take it? Don't they make these with flat screens, too? That they do! This is a particularly old one. Harvey, tell us how old. Harvey's favorite movies are ones with ponies. With flesh-eating zombie ponies, to be precise. Too bad I'm the only one who can hear him. He's so cute when he talks about ponies. That's a very specific niche of movies. I can probably count how many movies have been released with that topic on zero hands. Let's see if we can smash it. The mallet likes animal programs. I can't deny it. I've got a thing for horses. Can we use every item on the TV to find out what show it likes? Paper Cup, what do you enjoy? The cop likes watching Dixie Chicks concerts. It's a refreshing change from the usual programming. I found a use for it! Aha! You doubted! But I found something. It's not much of a use, but it's something. Toenail? The toenail enjoys its thrillers. With all that suspense, it's hard to stop chewing on myself. I see what you did there. Very clever. What about the comic book? Captain Useless watches Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Everyone has a right to dream. Does he ever get close to winning? Who can say? Let's see if we can use the control panel. This looks complicated. Oh yes, there are lots of buttons. Far too many buttons. Can we talk to it and find out how it works? Probably. Would it actually tell us? Probably not. Warp Factor 5. Energize. I wasn't expecting a Star Trek reference there, especially a muddled up one. Hands off! Okay, we can't mess around with it while he's there. Can we take it? That's big and heavy and wired with a thousand cables. I'd rather leave it here if you don't mind. Well, I do mind. Start unplugging them. We'll have it in our inventory by next week. Harvey, what do you make of this? What do you make of this, Harvey? We don't need that. We have everything under control. Do we? Do we really? Paper cup, go! Not necessary. Everything is under control. You keep saying that. I'm not sure that's true. Toenail? Not necessary. Everything is under control. Is that going to be said for everything? What about the pen? Not necessary. Yep, same for the pen. What about the comic book? Captain Useless has the ability to check his bank balance using only his mind. Oh, Captain, you look so sad. Probably because he has no money. That is quite an interesting ability. Now let's smash it. Not necessary. Okay, we cannot smash it. Finally, the array of monitors. Some are lit and some are dark. It all depends on the lighting in the rooms they monitor. Oh, so if we turn on or off lights, we can change what's here. Curious. Oh, Monitor Oracle, what are you trying to tell me? In order to perceive my messages, just keep looking at me until understanding is achieved. That is a very cryptic way of, I think, saying that we could convey a message with these monitors. But what kind of message would we want to convey? Somewhat hypnotic. Okay, now you're just making it really obvious, game. 
Are we meant to hypnotize the guard with the monitors? Hmm. Can we take them? Sure. I'll just get the truck. Brilliant! Wait, you don't have a truck, do you? Don! You fooled me again, Edna! Look, Harvey. You can see the whole asylum from here. I can see letters in the monitors. You are one strange bird. Crazy, maybe. But a bird? Cock-a-doodle-doo. Okay, now you've made it super obvious. And I think I can see what letters you're referring to. There's an F potentially here. There's a W here. And that's either an E or a C. Hmm. Not sure what we'd be spelling out, though, with only two letters. Can we smash them? Counterproductive and probably not possible, considering they seem to be used for a puzzle I've not figured out yet, but I'll try. The mallet likes animal programs. I can't deny it. Ah, we're gonna get repeated dialogue there, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now, before we go and talk to you, I want to see if there's anything else down here that I want to look at. Because we know that there's an area down here. There's not really much that I can uh, look at otherwise. Ah! There is a wash closet here, and another door. And a plant, and a window. Let's quickly look at the plant and the window. Rumo di planto. Ooh, this one has different dialogue. Including different talk dialogue? What are you doing? I'm talking plantish. But Edna, in reality, plants can't speak. As opposed to ragdoll rabbits. <laughs> you bring up a good point. Can we move it? It's just decoration. That doesn't mean we can't move it. Can we take it? It's too big. And completely useless, too. The useless part didn't stop you from taking the paper cup. But granted, the big part would. Now, let's see what Harvey can do with this. What do you make of this, Harvey? Mmm, yummy! I thought... I... Nothing different there. But what about the toenail? There. A little bit of fertilizer. Marvelous. Can we hide another cup behind this? I'll just put it there, where it won't bother anyone. Okay, we've hid another cup behind the plant. Is this going to be a running trend of putting cups behind plants? I think it might be. Can we smash it? Let's give the plant a good- Whoa, wait! Can it- We've seen that before as well. And I imagine we can doodle on this. A smiley face. Awesome. Captain Useless? In this panel, we see- That's also been seen before. Can we open this window? Ah, <sighs> freedom. We may be able to. What do you think about freedom, Window? How's the family? Is Mrs. Window well? Thanks for asking. But Mrs. Window and I are separated now. Oh my, how come? Don't ask, don't ask. Her attitude is completely unclear to me. I see what you did there, game. Clever pun. Can we open this? It's locked. Darn. Can we take it? No. That would cast an unfavorable light on me. To be fair, we've been taking everything else. The light can't become any more unfavorable. But I see what you did there. Look, Harvey. Freedom. Yippee! We're just inches away. I imagine a lot of this dialogue is going to be the same. But we can use a paper cup here, and I'm sure it will have a huge impact. Tell me about freedom, Harvey. As soon as you get out there, they hand you drinks with funny little umbrellas. Ooh, that sounds nice. Are they tasty drinks? There are no screws on the window. Indeed, there aren't. Is this also safety glass? Darn it. I really just wanted to hear that line of dialogue again. I really like that line of dialogue. Let's doodle. No, I don't want to ruin the view. We didn't want to ruin the last view either. Captain Useless? In this panel, a hobo wipes the wind. What's if he ma- Ah, we've heard that one. 
So let's head back before we examine these rooms and go and talk to the guard. Going back in may trigger some dialogue anyway. No, it didn't. It seems like explaining once who we are is sufficient. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll engage the guard in dialogue and see if we can get that key. Chances of us being able to persuade the guard to hand it over are about zero. We're not Rincewind, after all. Rincewind's really good at persuading people to hand over keys. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.